Hello, Tab Nation! It's your boy, Tom, and today we're going to be doing another macro uh, video. I made one, I don't know, maybe six months ago at the time of filming this video, where I basically just kind of covered a few, like, very easy to use, and that video became one of my most popular videos. So I figured I'd follow up with some other options uh, that you can use, whether you're using it for gaming, personal, or for your job. Uh, these are some pretty simple, straightforward ones that are pretty uh, versatile for how simple they are. So the first one's called Tiny Task. Uh, obviously, this is going to be in the description below with the link to this page. Just download whatever version. Obviously, I'm just going with the newer version. Um, so yeah, just push download. Uh, it's a pretty small file. Uh, let's see. Real quick. Look at that. It's not even one megabyte. It's 35 kilobytes. Like, it's super crazy small. So, once that's downloaded, we have it right here on my desktop. Let me pull that up there. And we're going to go ahead and just double click on it. And that's how fast it pops up. I mean, it's like instant, the simplest GUI so far that I've used. Um, and if you guys have one that I don't cover in this video, put it in the description below. Maybe I'll do a part three at some point just because you all seem to really like this. Um, so you can push open if you have one already uh, done, whatnot. You can save, record, play it if you just want to run it from here easily. Um, you can also turn it into an executable, which is nice. Uh, and then you got preferences. Preferences, we'll cover that first real quick because it's simple. It's just play speed. So, you know, if I sit there and record, but, you know, I'm, I'm a human, I'm slow. I want it to do it way faster, a hundred times faster than what I was able to record it. You can choose that. You can also do a custom speed because it does jump from two all the way to a hundred. Maybe you want it to do it only 50 times faster. Uh, the reason why is just because in video games, sometimes if you do stuff too fast, it's not able to register that. So this is just something you have to play around with. Uh, it really depends on your computer and what you're doing. I can't really tell you the answer to that one. Uh, continuous uh, or playback loops, that just means it's going to repeat everything it was told to do until you tell it to stop. Uh, with the continuous just means forever until you say stop, where playback I can say do this five times, ten times, whatever. Uh, these are the hotkeys, you can change these by default, it is control, shift, alt, r. I think that's a bit ridiculous because that's four buttons I have to press. i rather just go with something like F8. <laughs> to be honest, uh, playback, that's what really triggers it, so you can do F12. I also think that's a bit of a long hotkey there. Uh, always on top, show captions, custom toolbars, you know, if you want to know some information, uh, yeah, just explore this and click whatever. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and do a, a quick uh, test here. We'll do something simple. We'll create a folder called test. And yeah, that's good. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead, we're going to push uh, record, it's now recording, move my mouse around, I'm going to click and highlight here, click here to unhighlight, I'm going to take this folder, move it there, click it again, move it back to where it was, and yeah, it looks good to me, I'm going to push record, or you can use the hotkey, we should be good. So let's test it now, so we're going to go ahead, push play, and here's my hands. So, as you see, it's mimicking me, it gets the coordinates, so it always knows where to go, regardless of where my mouse uh, position started, which is really helpful, especially in gaming. There it goes, and I uh, went back to the record, and it's done. So I can save it, obviously, uh, for later use, because it's uh, restart my computer or whatever, it's going to forget. You can just name it whatever, test, uh, mouse, eh, whatever. Uh, and it's going to save as a .rec file onto my desktop. <clears throat> Let's give that a second. And for some reason, it does show up as a uh, like VLC icon for some odd reason. Who knows? Uh, but that's what it's going to look like. Um, so yeah, uh, then we can also do, what was I saying? Oh, the executable. This one, it's we'll keep it the name the same, .exe, save. Um, Compile successful. I mean, you saw how fast that was. Obviously, it was doing some pretty simple stuff. Uh, but here's our executable now. So we can close out the program. But yeah, this is our test, mo uh, test uh, executable. 
run that. For some reason, I'm having some weird lag here. What is going on? Let's try again. I tend to have a lot of issues with my computer when I'm uh, recording. It just eats up my memory and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, make sure to subscribe. Throwing out automation videos every week, usually on auto hotkeys. But like in this video, we are branching out. Alright, so apparently my computer doesn't want to work right now. It doesn't want to run any type of program very well. But as soon as that launches, it will run whatever it's supposed to be doing when I record it. And I launch this. I can at least launch this because it was already launched. Uh, but yeah, you got that. Um, yeah, when you just open, it's going to open Explorer. Yeah, there's my test uh, file right there. Push open. Push play. Once again, here's my hands. So, it's pretty simple. Fortunately, the executable does not want to launch. <coughs> now, something else to show is, look, I'm trying to, like, glitch the mouse up here a little bit. I'm trying to move the mouse while it's trying to do stuff. And it's it's causing it to bug out just a little bit there. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Oh, wow, it's really bugging out. So, I recommend not doing that. Oh, my. Wow. Wow. Okay, so that really does not like it when you do that, so that's good to know. Good to know. Interesting. So just a heads up on that. <laughs> it started bugging out and accidentally clicked on some other stuff that triggered my antivirus, so... But hey, for how simple it is, just take your hands off the keyboard. I've done auto hotkey videos where I show you actually how to... Uh, when something's running, basically disable uh, input from your mouse and keyboard. That could be helpful in this situation. But alright, let's move on to the next one. Alright, so this one, GS Auto Clicker. Links in the description below, obviously. Super small download. Um, time of filming this video, it's uh, version 3.1.4. I mean, even if you watch this video years in the future, I highly doubt it's going to change that much, so... Should still be good. Um, you can read about the stuff, blah, 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 whatnot. Choose a version. Uh, there's only two on there right now. License is free. Great. So yeah, just download that. It will then appear on your desktop. So here is our example right here. We're going to go ahead and launch that. And once again, very simple uh, GUI here. Very easy. Uh, you know, file, just all it has is exit. Uh, options, you got uh, three categories here. You got clicking, you can make it repeat, or you can say options. You know, maybe you wanted to click uh, the right key or the right, right mouse uh, button instead of the left. Um, so, uh, style, does it double click, does it single click? Uh, freeze the point, only on single click, um, stuff like that. Um, then you got recording. So you can record multiple clips, uh, settings, hotkey, you know what triggers it. It's by default is F8. I'm fine with that one. Um, or you could just, you know, change it to whatever, F. Hmm. For some reason it's not. Oh, okay, there we go. So press any key. So we'll say, you know, F10. We're good to go. And then it updates right here to remind you. Uh, help just is going to launch a browser window, so we don't really care about that. Um, yeah, so if I go ahead and click, let's find something here real quick. I thought there was a website on here that linked to a test file, but apparently not. It might have been something else. That's fine. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and press F10. And as you see, my hands are off, and um, press F10 to stop. So it's actually clicking. Let me move my mouse around without clicking. Um, but as you see, it is um, slowly clicking. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong key. There we go. So F10 to activate it. Go up here, go back down here. So as you see, it's just clicking. And then I just push F10, and it stops. So pretty straightforward, pretty easy uh, recording. You can go here, multiple clicks, record and play multiple clicks, record clicks, 
uh, pick point, you can just say right there, um, 10, maybe, it's going to let me type, nope, alright, so we're going to say okay, uh, but yeah, pretty simple, but as you see, I'm trying to move my mouse away, and it's auto snapping right back to that middle. Um, I tend to stop again. Um, so you can make it click no matter where your mouse is. Uh, by default, it's just going to be wherever your mouse is. But you can also grab those coordinates through going to record, multiple clicks, pick point. And it'll always snap to that location, which will be very helpful. Uh, not just in video games, but anything really. All right. That was that one, and uh, if you guys have any recommendations on other ones that you've used that I haven't covered in, at all yet, just let me know in the comments below. Everybody seemed to really like this video. If it gets 50 plus uh, likes, I'll definitely do a follow-up with uh, a whole bunch more of different ones I've tested out and thought were uh, worthy of being in the video. All right, everybody. Thank you. See you on the next one.